Chief Larry Scarado faced with questions tonight at the Community Conversations Forum about the recent shooting death of William Hardison by police following an hours-long standoff in the city's Garfield neighborhood on August 23rd. You all's tactics do work. It works in the white neighborhood. It works when you're dealing with white men, white women, and white children. Northside residents raising questions about the death of Hardison the same day Allegheny County Sheriff Kevin Krause announced one of his deputies who fired their weapon on scene has been removed from the job after testing positive for drugs. One deputy tested positive for cocaine. I don't have any re reason to believe or to indicate that he shot the individual that was um, eventually um, deceased. Sheriff's deputies and Pittsburgh police officers involved in the shooting were all drug tested immediately after being cleared from the scene per policy. Chief Scarato saying all 54 Pittsburgh police officers are back on duty. We did not have anybody test positive for drugs. Tonight's questions also focused on officers' use of force when arresting Jay Sean Martin on August 25th, which Chief Scarato has since deemed justified. I don't understand how that could be justified. When you see a black man already subdued and then you have another officer to protect and serve come in and do damage. That's not acceptable. And to the many questions asking how Scarato will end racism within the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police, he said this. The 900 men and women that represent this department make those sacrifices every day aren't racist. If there are behaviors that exhibit racism, I assure you under my direction, my command, they will be removed from this police department immediately. And following the arrest of Jay Sean Martin, Mayor Ed Ganey announced a community advisory committee that he said will review critical incidents involving the public and police. Tonight, Larry Scarato telling us that that board will have at least 11 people on it, and it will be made up of community leaders, faith leaders, and people who have a specific interest in making sure that the police are doing their job and following policy correctly.